I think it really goes to show that Huawei is very much now on the offensive. It is taking this campaign to essentially block the company from Western markets on national security grounds very seriously. It also goes to show that the company is determined to now hit back and get proof of these claims that its equipment could be used to spy for China. So uh, what we've seen is Huawei embarking on this unprecedented uh, PR blitz over the last few months, taking out U.S. newspaper ads and inviting foreign journalists to its headquarters, as we saw today even reaching out to journalists for PR jobs at the company. It's also been thrusting its CEO, Ren Zhengfei, in front of the uh, international media of late. So this is really a stark contrast to a few months back when Huawei's chief financial officer, uh, Meng Wanzhou, was arrested in Canada. Huawei at the time said it would uh, let the ju judicial system play its course, but now the company seems to be singing a very different tune and is being far more aggressive. How does this all fit into the wider running trade dispute between China and the U.S.? Well, it really goes to show a, a ratcheting up in tension between the U.S. and China as they try to hammer out this trade deal. I think uh, what is interesting with Meng Wanzhou being arrested in Canada is uh, that this has been politicized on a number of occasions by U.S. President Donald Trump, who has said uh, he would consider intervening in her case if it would help close a trade deal with China. And Meng's lawyer uh, just yesterday told the Canadian court that he has concerns that uh, her allegations against her do have some kind of political character. Of course, technology has also been at the heart of this trade dispute between China and the U.S. And I suppose what uh, this lawsuit is essentially doing is trying to get the U.S. government uh, to prove why they're trying to block the company. There have been other Chinese companies that have been affected by this sentiment in the U.S., which is uh, really what makes this whole thing about Huawei taking on the U.S. government uh, so significant. Uh, and it is really setting a benchmark.